Hello, friends! Today, we will learn about flora and fauna. You're here in the park enjoying yourself with your friend. No matter where you go on the planet, stunning plants, flowers, and animals catch your attention. The term flora refers to all plant life, and the term fauna represents all animal life. Let us dive deeper into these terms one by one. At first, flora. Flora is derived from a Latin word that means goddess of the flower. All sorts of plant life in the world fall under this term. Thank you for the flowers, mate! So, the classification depends on the environment in which it grows naturally. Some common types of flora are as follows. Native flora. It refers to the native plants of a particular geographical area. For example, cacti and soap tree yucca in the desert. Horticultural flora. It refers to the plants that are cultivated for their beauty, ornamental value, or aesthetic appeal. For example, roses, tulips, etc. Agricultural flora. These are the plants grown by humans with a purpose. For example, crops grown by farmers. Weed flora. Weeds are known to be unwanted plants that grow in the fields of their own. For example, large crabgrass reeds compete directly for soil nutrients and moisture. Fauna. The term fauna is derived from the name of a Roman fertility goddess. It refers to the animal life found in a particular geographical region or during a specific time period. Some common types of fauna are as follows. Microfauna. They are small, often macroscopic animals, especially those inhabiting the soil, an organ, or other localized habitat. The two most common soil microfauna are the nematodes and the protozoa. Megafauna. The term megafauna is most commonly used for the largest extent terrestrial animals, e.g. giraffes, elephants, etc. In fauna, it refers to those aquatic animals living in the sediments of the ocean floor, riverbeds, or lake beds, like clams and snails. Epifauna. Epifauna live attached to hard surfaces, such as rocks, shells, and peelings or directly on the surface of the bay's bottom. Epifauna includes sea bunnies, potato bugs, etc. Avifauna. It refers to all the birds of a particular geographical region or during a specific time period. For example, hummingbirds are only native to North and South America. Cryofauna. It refers to the animals that live in, or are very close to, cold areas. For example, polar bears and penguins. Cryptofauna. It refers to those animals that are found in concealed or protected microhabitats. For example, leafy sea dragons are found along the southwestern coast of Australia. You should conserve flora and fauna to maintain biodiversity. The richness of biodiversity encourages that various types of plants and animals are balanced in a positive way in the environment. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye!